Hello, my name is Megan Allman with the Northwest Association for Blind Athletes. And uh, today we're going to be doing a virtual Pilates session. So I'll read the disclaimer and the mission and then I'll turn it over to Mary who will be leading the, the workout. So for our disclaimer, you should always consult with your doctor before beginning any type of exercise or physical activity. You're responsible for your own health and safety at all times. We encourage you to self monitor throughout the workout, taking breaks when needed, hydrate and modify your activity based on how you and your body are responding to the workout. Our mission at NWABA is to provide life changing opportunities through sports and physical activities to individuals who are blind and visually impaired and over to Mary. All right, thank you everybody for joining us. Like Megan said, today we are doing Pilates. So if you would like to do this with shoes on, without shoes on, I just have socks on so I don't have shoes on. Just make sure that you're on an area or surface where you're not going to slip around. I would suggest doing this on a yoga mat if you have a yoga mat, uh, but just make sure that you have an area that's clear of any kind of obstacles or anything that you might trip over or slip on. So we're gonna start on the ground. Right now I'm sitting with my legs in a pretzel so my legs are crossed. Um, you can sit in a comfortable position, in a position that's comfortable for you. So um, for me, if my legs are crossed, if you'd like to sit with your legs straight out in front of you, with your legs with a slight bend in front of you, whatever feels best for you. So again, I'm going to cross my legs, sit in my comfortable position, and I'm going to place my hands at my side. So my left hand is by my left leg, and my right hand is by my left, my right hand is by my right leg. Your fingertips should just be touching the ground, so move your arms out to the side until just your fingertips are on the ground, so your arms should be a little stretched out. Take a deep breath in and out here, and on your breath out, roll your left ear toward your left shoulder. You don't have to touch your ear to your shoulder, just feel the stretch in the back of your neck on the right side. So we're gonna take another deep breath in and out here. And whenever you breathe out, you're going to draw your chin to the left side of your chest. So dip your head down, your chin coming to the left side of your chest. Take a deep breath in here. And then breathe out and slowly roll your neck back to our starting position or our neutral position. We're going to repeat this on the right side. So take a deep breath in and whenever you breathe out, roll your right ear to your right shoulder. Again, your ear doesn't have to touch your shoulder all the way, just make sure you're feeling that stretch in the back of your neck on the left side. After a few deep breaths in and out here, roll your head down so that your chin is touching the right side of your chest. Your fingertips are still stretched out, touching to your sides, and you're just stretching out the back of your neck with a deeper stretch here. Take a final deep breath in, and whenever you breathe out, roll your head back up to our neutral position. You can remain in your comfortable seated position and stretch your right hand out further from your side. So my right hand is going to stretch out and my right palm is going to be flat on the ground. And then my left arm is going to come above my head and I'm going to lean to the right. So I'm feeling a nice stretch in the left side of my body. As you lean to the right, your left arm is just gonna hang above your head in kind of an arched form. Take a few deep breaths in and out here. And then place your left elbow, or bend your left elbow back and place your left hand behind your left ear. You're still going to be in your side bend. Take a deep breath in and out. Tilt your face up towards the ceiling and open up your chest and then dip your left elbow to your right knee. Repeat, take a deep breath in, open your chest up toward the ceiling, and up to your upright position, and then bring your left elbow back to your right knee. We're gonna repeat this two more times. So open, chest up to the ceiling, exhale and close, bring your left knee, left elbow to your right knee. All right, I'm going to do this one more time. Open up to the ceiling. Breathe in and breathe out. Left elbow to right knee. All right, we're going to sit up in our neutral position. I'm just going to move my screen up here. 
and then we're going to repeat this on the left side. So back in your neutral position, your both hands, when, you sit, when we say a neutral position, it just means like our starting position or a position where our body is in a position that it would typically stand. So just seating forward, sitting forward, facing forward in my neutral position. I'm going to stretch my left hand to the left side so that my palm is flat on the ground. My right arm is going to come above my head, kind of like in an arched position. And I'm gonna feel that stretch in the right side of my body. Take a deep breath in and out here. Take three deep breaths in and out total. Last one, deep breath in and out. Great, now we're going to put, bend our right elbow, put our right hand on our right ear, point your face up to the ceiling, open your chest, and then close by bringing your right elbow to your left knee. Breathe in, open, chest to the ceiling, face to the ceiling, and breathe out, right elbow to left knee. Two more times, deep breath in, open up to the ceiling, and deep breath out, close. Right elbow to left knee. Last one, take a deep breath in, open, and exhale, close. All right, slowly take your hand off your ear, bring both hands to your sides. We're going to do a seated cat and cow position. So I'm gonna change the direction that I'm sitting. So if your legs are crossed, you can just unfold them in front of you and place them on the ground. Your feet are going to be flat on the ground and your feet are going to be about hip, hip width distance apart. So your feet aren't together, they're just spread out a little bit. You're going to have your knees slightly bent, so your knees are going to be, legs are gonna be flat on the ground. Just have a slight bend in your knees, whatever feels comfortable for you. You're going to wrap your hands under your thighs. So right before where my knee bends is where I'm going to put my hands. And then you're gonna sit up straight and tall like you're stacking each one of your vertebrae and your spine on top of each other. Next, we're gonna take a deep breath in. And when you take a breath in, you're gonna arch your back so that your face is pointing toward the ceiling. Your arms should be bent a little bit. They shouldn't be completely straight. And then when we take a deep breath out, we're going to curve our back in our cow position. This is where your arms will be straight. Your back is curved and you're leaning back a little bit just to straighten out or just to get that nice stretch in your back. So again, inhale, bring your chest forward, face up to the ceiling, arms bent, flared out to the sides. And then on your Exhale, bend back, straighten your arms so that your back is curved and you're feeling a nice stretch within your entire spine. Two more times, inhale, chest forward, face to the ceiling. Make sure you have a nice arc in your back and then exhale, straightening your arms and curving your upper back. Last one, inhale, Chest forward, face to the ceiling, arms are bent, and exhale, arms straighten, your upper back curves, and you lean back just slightly to stretch out your back. All right, that was just our slow warm up, so now we're going to get into more of our exercise rounds. So we are going to return to an upright position your feet are going to be flat on the ground. Again, hip width distance apart. Your knees can be slightly bent. If they were um, straight, go ahead and bend them a little bit, just like before. So our back is, we're going to be sitting up straight. We're going to inhale, lift your arms up in front of you. Your palms can face each other and your arms are going to be parallel to each other and parallel to the ground, like you're holding a tray on top of them. Keeping your arms in front of you, Exhale, lean back like you're doing the downward motion of a sit-up, like you're lowering your ribs to the ground. Inhale and return to your upright position. We're gonna repeat this three more times on your own and at your own pace. So take a deep breath in, breathe out, 
and lower down to the ground. Go about halfway, you don't have to go all the way. Inhale and back up to our seated position. Repeat this two more times on your own. Exhale, lean back, inhale, sit up straight. Remember to keep your arms forward in front of you like you're balancing that tray. And then sit up. All right, for this, for this next exercise, we're gonna do a stationary core workout and our legs are going to be bent. So again, for this exercise, our arms will be straight at our elbows and we'll be moving from our shoulder joints only. So your feet are going to be flat on the ground. Again, legs are hip width distance apart. Your knees are going to be slightly bent. So when you exhale, lean back, but in this position, hold it. So we're doing this without the arm motion, but if you ever need relief from this position, feel free to return to your upright position and follow with the movements. In your leaning back position, inhale, and lift both arms above your head. The cue for this is lift, and then lower your arms back down in front of you, and the cue for this is lower. Now we're going to open our arms, so our arms are going to come out to a T at our sides, and then close. Our arms are going to come back together. If this is challenging, feel free to, again, just sit up in your upright position or take a break for a second and then lean back into your half sit up. Lift your arms up in the air so that your arms are by your ears. Lower your arms back down to your tray position. Open your arms out to your sides and close them. Again, if you need a little break, just sit up and complete this sequence or feel free to sit back and complete the sequence. So we'll do this two more times. I'm going to lean back, lift your arms above your head, lower your arms in front of you, bring your arms out to the sides, and then close them. One more time, lift, lower your arms, open them up, and close them. All right, great job. If you need to give your abdomen a little break, go ahead and do that. Just sit up. You can shake from side to side if you need to. All right, now we're going to work on some core twists. So I'm just going to adjust the position that I'm sitting in slightly. All right, so for our core twists, we're going to remain in our upright position. Again, feet flat on the ground, or heels on the ground, whatever feels comfortable for you. Your arms are going, or your legs are going to be bent at your knees again. You're going to make, with your hands, make two fists, or have, when your arms are out in front of you, like we're holding that tray, make two fists with your hands. Bring your fists together in front of your chest. You're going to take a quick breath in, and then exhale and twist your core to the left. Return back to your starting position, quick inhale, Exhale and turn to the right. Return to your center position. Quick inhale and exhale to, to the left. All right, back up to our starting position. Turn to the right and exhale. And then sit up, straight up. Quick inhale, exhale and twist to the left. Okay, return to your starting position. If you'd like a little bit more of a challenge, you can lean back again into our half sit up and repeat this, or you can remain in your upright position. For now, we're gonna speed that up. So we're going to be moving from left to right, left to right a little quicker on the count of three, two, one. Twist to your left, upright, and twist to your right. Upright, three, twist to the left, Upright position, twist to the right. Upright position. All right, two, twist to the left. Upright position, and twist to the right. Return to your upright position for one or last time. Twist to the left. Return to your upright position and twist to the right. And then return to your upright position. So, being in our upright position here, lower your legs down to the ground. 
straighten your arms and lift them above your head, keeping your arms at your ears. Take a deep breath in, and then when you breathe out, fold your forward, fold your forehead forward toward your thighs. If you can touch your head to your thighs, great. I am not that flexible, so I am just going to lean forward as much as I can. If that, you can grab your toes, great. If you can grab your ankles, your calves, your knees, or if you just want to place your hands on your thighs, whatever feels comfortable for you. We're stretching out the back part of our upper leg or our hamstring. So we're just going to feel that nice deep stretch in our hamstring right here. All right, your feet can be loose here. Now we're going to flex our feet so that the bottom of your feet are as close to the ground as possible. So your legs should be a nice straight line if you can get them that way with your ankles. Take a deep breath in and then take a deep breath out. Roll your body up to an upright position with your legs straight on the ground, forming an uppercase L with your body. We're going to go through this same sequence of stationary and core Stationary core workout and core twists this time, we'll be doing them in the half sit up position with our legs straight. So we're going to be doing the twists and the uh, just leaning backwards with our arms up, down, out. All right, so with our legs straight, we're going to lift our arms up straight in front of us like we're balancing a tray on top of our arms. We're going to lean back. We're going to lift our arms up above our head. So arms are at our ears. Lower, open, arms out to the side like we're forming a T with our body, and close. We're gonna repeat this three more times. Lift your arms up, lower your arms, open up to the sides, and close. Two more times, inhale to lift, Exhale to lower, inhale to open, and exhale to close. One more time, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower, inhale, open, and exhale, close. Go ahead and sit straight up with your arms still straight out in front of you. Turn your hands into fists and bring your, hand, bring your fists back together. If you'd like to do this from the upright position, you can, or if you would like to go into your half sit up, you are welcome to do that right now. So we're going to, uh, when we're in our neutral position, so this position, whether you're sitting up straight or leaning back, this is where you'll do your quick inhale, and then when you twist to the left or to the right, you'll exhale. So inhale, quick inhale here, exhale to the left, return to neutral, Inhale and twist to the right. Come back to center, inhale. Exhale, lift, twist to the left. Inhale, come to center. Exhale and twist to the right. Inhale, come to center, do this two more times. Exhale to the left. Inhale, come to center. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, come to center. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, come to center. Exhale, come to the right side. All right, we're gonna do our speed round again. So we're gonna twist to the left, center, right, center, left, center, right, center. Two more times, twist to the left, center, right, Center, one more, left, center, and right, center. All right. If you need to, you can shake your legs out, put your hands behind you, shake your legs, just because it can be a little tiresome for some people. Whenever you're ready, come back and join us. We're gonna do another forward fold. So return to your upright position. Inhale, straighten your arms above your head so that your arms are by your ears. Exhale and lower. If you can, touch your toes or your ankles, shins, or knees. Just feel that stretch in the backs of your legs or your hamstrings. Take a few deep breaths in and out here. All right, 
Last deep breath in and out. Your feet are flexed so that they're always facing the ground. All right, now we're going to flex our feet so that our toes are pointed out toward the ceiling. Your hands can either be on your shins, knees, toes if you can touch them, whatever you can do. You're gonna straighten your arms until you feel that stretch in your back. Try to touch your toes as best you can. Take two deep breaths in and out here. All right, lean back just to stretch out your legs. Stretch out your legs however you need to if you want to bring them up towards your chest and then release them back down to the ground you can. We're going to do one more forward fold. So we're going to go into a brief forward fold. So bend your forehead down towards your thighs or wherever is comfortable for you. Your hands can stretch out and rest on your feet or on the ground. Take a deep breath in and breathe out and then return to your starting position. We're going to go into an extended bridge right now. So both of your hands are going to be flat on the ground beneath your shoulders. Your fingertips are going to point towards your toes. You're going to push into the ground with your hands and you're gonna bring your hips up to the ceiling like there's a string pulling you up. If you need to, if you can't be flat on your feet, you can go on your heels and point your toes toward the ceiling. So there should be a straight line between your shoulders and your toes right here. All right, take one more deep breath in. And then breathe out. Lower yourself to the ground. So we will switch to our next exercise. This next exercise is called bird dog taps. So you're going to go into a tabletop position and one way you can do that is to cross your legs, rock forward, come up onto your hands. If your legs are still crossed, you can uncross them, and then just come to a tabletop position. So your shoulders are going to be on, are on top of your wrists. I'm just gonna switch my position here. So your shoulders are going to be stacked on top of your wrists. Your hips are going to be stacked on top of your knees. Pull your core into your spine to straighten out your back. So if you were balancing a glass of water on your back, your back wouldn't be swayed or arch. Your back is nice and straight. Your core is tucked up into your spine. Okay, we're going to extend our right leg behind us until only our toes of our right foot are touching the ground. You're going to extend your left arm forward until only your fingertips are touching the ground and you're going to keep your nose pointed toward the ground as well. Inhale, and as you exhale, lift your arm and leg at the same time so that they create a straight line. Inhale, lower your arm and leg back down to the ground. We're going to repeat this seven more times and lower back down to the ground. Focus on making a straight line with your body, pulling your core toward your spine, and then lower back down. So I have six more times, I'm going to lower, raise your arms and leg, and lower, raise your arm and leg, lower down to the ground, four more times, and lower, remember you exhale, lift, inhale, lower, exhale, lift, Inhale, lower. Two more times. Exhale to lift. Inhale, lower. One more time. Inhale, exhale, lift. And inhale, lower down to the ground. Now we're going to go into our toe taps. So keeping your core tight, lift your left arm and your right leg like we did before in our bird dog. Turning your left palm out to the left. Inhale, bend your left arm back. Bend your right knee toward your hand and try to touch your hand and your toe. Return to our position, so extend your elbow and your knee, and then repeat. 
Turn your left palm to the left. Bend your right knee so that your toe bends back toward your bottom. And then straighten. If you need to take a break, go ahead back into your tabletop position. Do a few cat and cows if you need to. But we're going to continue our toe taps. All right. So we're touching our toe, straightening our arm and leg. Touch your toe, straighten your arm and leg. All right, let's do this two more times from our straightened arm and leg position. Touch your toe and straighten one more. Touch your toe and straighten. All right, now you're going to, we're going to go into a leg curl with a slight push up. So lower your left leg back down, lower your left hand down to the ground so that your shoulder is stacked over your wrist and your hand lays flat on the ground. So both hands are going to be flat on the ground at this point. Plant the toes of your right foot into the ground and then putting all your weight into your hands and your right foot, lift your left knee off the ground, bending your foot toward your bottom and moving your knee toward your left elbow. Inhale and hold this position. Exhale and return your left knee to the ground where it was previously located. Balancing on both your hands and your left knee, lift your right leg up like we did before, and then inhale, lower your body to the ground, bending your elbows so that your elbows come close to your ribs. Push up, bring your right foot back down to the ground, and then we're going to repeat. So we'll inhale, bring our left knee up off the ground toward our elbow, exhale and lower it down to the ground. Bend your elbows down, bring your right leg up, and do a push up and then push back up to straighten your leg, straighten your arms. We're gonna go through this six more times. So bring your left knee up off the ground toward your elbow, back down to the ground, lift your right leg, bend your elbows, and then push back up. Again, left knee off the ground, toward your elbow, back down to the ground, push up, bend your elbows toward your ribs, right leg comes up off the ground, and then right leg comes back onto the ground. Just a few more times here, left knee, to left elbow, left knee back down to the ground, bend your elbows towards your ribs, and then come back up. All right. You can go through this on your own, at your own pace. Remember, whenever you do your push-up, your leg is coming off the ground and your elbows are coming back by your ribs. Let's do this one more time. So bring our left knee up and down. Bend your arms so your elbows come to your ribs and back to your starting position. So now we're going to do some knee pulses. So after your last push-up, you're going to lift your left knee off the ground, bend your foot toward your bottom, and then move your knee toward your left elbow again. We're going to move your, our knee kind of back to our starting position, and then back up to our elbow. Now this is a little challenging, it does require some balance, so whenever you need to, definitely take some breaks. If you feel like you're cramping at all, you can push back into a child's pose position, or you can just move your body in whatever way is comfortable for you. So we're only going to go into that four times. So again, our right foot is planted back onto the ground, our palms are flat on the ground as well. Bring your left knee up, up to your knee, and back toward your starting position, but just hovering over the ground. Left knee to the left elbow, and back. Knee to elbow, back. Knee to elbow, and back. Bring your knee to your elbow, go back. And last time, knee to elbow, and return to the ground. From here, you're going to go into a high plank. So bring your left foot back to your right foot. We're going to go into a downward facing dog here. So pull your hips up to the ceiling 
Feel a nice stretch in the back of your legs. You can pedal your feet, so bend one knee at a time toward the ground. Lift your heel off the ground with that bent leg. Take a few deep breaths in and out here. All right, now we're gonna go into a forward fold. So you can walk your hands back to your feet, walk your feet to your hands, whatever feels comfortable for you. All right, you're going to slightly bend your knees once you feel that pull in the back of your legs, and you're gonna lift your hands off the ground when you're able to balance on your feet. Wrap your hands around your elbows so that your left hand is on your right elbow, your right hand is on your left elbow. Keep a soft bend in your knees here and twist from left to right. Remember to take some nice deep breaths in and out. If you want to, you can shake your head yes and no. Twist your head to the left and twist it to the right. Keep going there. Just twisting from side to side. All right, so just to leave our arms for a minute, we're going to do some squats. So we're going to stand with your feet, stand up straight, nice and tall. Stand with your feet out a little wider than your hips. You're gonna angle your feet out about 45 degrees, so they're not facing right out in front of you. You're just tilting your feet to the left and right, about 45 degrees. Keep your hands at your sides. Inhale, gently shift your weight backwards to, and into your heels into a squat. And when you squat back, lift your arms above your head, bringing your arms up to your ears. Your legs should stop when they're close to being parallel to the ground, and your knees should not move past your toes. Exhale, return to your starting position, bring your hands back. Repeat, we're gonna repeat this for another seven repetitions. Inhale, squat back. Exhale, stand up. Inhale to squat. Exhale to stand. Inhale, bring your hands up to the sky. Exhale, lower your hands back to your sides. Inhale, squat, exhale, stand up. Inhale, squat, exhale, bring your hands back one more time. Inhale, squat, exhale, and bring your arms back. All right, great job. If at any time you need to shake your legs out, grab a drink of water, feel free to do that. We're gonna go into chair pose twist. So, like I said, you can shake your legs out, put all your weight on one leg, shake one leg out, whatever feels best for your body. Whenever you're ready, we're gonna to return to our wide stance. And again, inhale, gently shift your weight backward into your heels to squat while you lift your arms above your head, bringing your arms to your ears. Hold this centered pose, also known as chair pose, and extend your gaze forward or point your nose forward. Exhale, twist your head and torso to the right and extend your right arm back, first moving at your elbow, then your shoulder. So it's like you're making a straight arm or straight line with your arms. Inhale, bring your body back to center. Exhale, bend your elbow and your torso, twist your torso back to the left. Inhale, return to our center position. Exhale, bend your right arm back, twist your body to the right side, and then repeat by bringing your arms back in front of your head. Repeat on the left side, bend your left elbow back, twist your torso to the left, arms go out at your sides, bend your left elbow back, both arms go in front of you, and we'll repeat on the right. Exhale, bend your right elbow back, straighten your arm, twist your, shoulder, twist your torso to the right. Inhale, bend your right elbow, bring it forward, bring your arm forward, and repeat on the left side. Bend your elbow, 
Straighten your arm, twist your torso to the left. Inhale, bend your left elbow and bring your arm forward. One more time on each side. Bend your right elbow, straighten out your right arm, twist your torso to the right. Perfect, and then return back to our center position. Bend your left elbow, twist your torso to the left and extend your left arm. Inhale, bend your left elbow and bring your arm straight out in front of you. Okay, shake out your arms if you need to, shake out your legs. You should definitely feel the heat in your arms and in your legs right now. Perfect. So right now we're gonna go into chair pose pulses. So again, whenever we're doing a pulsing motion, we're just moving from about an inch to two, two to three inches from that neutral position. So if I'm pulsing with my right arm, I'm gonna go up about three inches, back down to my starting position, lower to three inches, and back up. So it's just a slight movement up and down. I'm gonna grab some water real quick. All right. So we're gonna go back down into our chair pose. Feet are wider than hip width apart. Feet are gonna be at a 45 degree angle. And then we're going to inhale, bring our arms above our head, straight above our head, and go down into our squat, into our chair pose. All right, once you're in your chair pose, sit up a few inches, and then sit back down more. Inhale, stand up. Exhale, sit down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, stand up. Exhale, go back down lower into your chair pose. Inhale, stand up. Exhale to lower. Inhale, up. Exhale, lower. Two more times. Inhale, up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up. Exhale, and lower. Okay, so return to a standing position. Shake out, I always need to shake out my arms when I do that exercise. So do that if you need to. We're going to go into leg lifts and repeaters. So if you've never heard of a repeater before, we're gonna go through that right now. We're gonna switch positions a bit. So walk your feet until your feet are under your hips and extend your left leg to the side and just point your big toe into the ground. So I switched my positions, I'm now facing the camera. I'm balancing on my right foot, my right foot's flat on the ground. My left foot is, my left toes are pointing into the ground. Bend both arms at your elbows and place both hands to your ears, keeping your elbows out wide. Your elbows shouldn't be close to your face. Again, your elbows should be out wide, hands, both hands on your ears. Balancing on your right leg, lift your left leg up off the, up to the side as high as you can and then return it to the ground. We're gonna inhale, lift our left leg up, and return it back to the ground. You don't need to be a rocket and lift your leg up really high, just lift it up as high as you need to. We're gonna repeat this two more times. Inhale, lift your leg up, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. That was our leg lift, and now from this position, we're gonna go into repeaters. So you're going to pull your left knee towards your nose while twisting your trunk to the left. Return to your neutral position, toe pointed to the ground, face is, nose is pointing forward. And if you need to, you can keep your right knee bent for a little extra balance. So we're going to do this four times. Inhale, bring your knee up, twist to the left. Return to your neutral position. Bend your left knee to your nose, point your nose to the side, twist your torso, and back. One more time, bring your knee up, twist to the left, and return back to your starting position. After your fourth repetition, we're gonna do leg lifts again, only this time we're only going to do two. So lift your left leg, lower it, lift, and lower. We're gonna do two repetitions of repeaters, 
lift your left leg up to your chest, twist your torso to the left, and then return back to the ground. Again, lift your left leg, twist your torso to the left, and lower to the ground. All right, after our two repetitions of our repeaters, we are going to do this sequence again, just one repetition of each. So leg lift, lower, repeater, and lower. Leg lift, lower, repeater, lower. Whoops. Leg lift up to the side and lower, repeater, and lower. One more time. Leg lift, lower, repeater, and lower. Great job. So once you're ready, we're gonna bring both feet flat to the ground. We're gonna switch positions real quick. All right. Whenever you're ready, again, both feet flat on the ground and lower your arms down to your sides. Take a deep breath in, raise your arms above your head, bringing your arms up to your ears, palms facing each other. Exhale as you forward fold and touch the ground, bending your knees if you need to. From here, walk your hands out to a plank and lower to tabletop position. So we're going to repeat the sequence again, but we're gonna start with our bird dog taps. So we are in our tabletop position. Right now, the camera is pointing towards my side. So when we repeat everything, we're going to do everything with the opposite arm. So if you started with your left hand, you're gonna do your right hand this time. We started with some of these exercises on the right side, we're going to do them on our left side. Okay, we're gonna start out again with bird dog taps. We're in our tabletop position. Shoulders are stacked above our wrists, meaning that our wrists are directly below our shoulders. Hips are stacked above our knees, and our core is pulled up toward our belly. Our core is up pulled toward our spine. All right, we're in our tabletop position. Extend your left leg behind you until just your toes are on the ground. And then extend your fingertips of your right hand forward until just your fingertips are touching the ground. You wanna keep your nose pointed toward the ground as well. Inhale, exhale, lift your right arm, left leg off the ground, and then return it back down to the ground. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, creating that straight line. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Lift, and lower. One more time, lift, and lower. We're gonna go back into our toe taps now. So keeping our fingertips on the ground, our toes on the ground, feeling this stretch all throughout our body, we're going to lift our, oops, we're gonna lift up our right arm and our left leg, just like we've been doing. Turn your right palm to the right, inhale, bend your right arm back, bend your left knee toward your hand, and touch your hand to your foot together briefly. If you can't touch your hand and foot together, just bring them back as far as you can. Exhale, return, extending your limbs. Inhale, bend, whoops, bend and tap. I almost fell over there. All right, straighten and return to your straightened position. Oops. Bend your arm back and bend your, bend your knee so you are touching your toes. Let's repeat this four more times. All right, bend and touch your hand to your foot. Return to your starting position. Inhale, bend, touch, exhale, extend. Inhale, bend, touch, and extend. As you exhale, last one, inhale, bend back, oops, touch your toe, exhale, extend. Go ahead into your tabletop position if you need a break here. Stretch out your back, kick your legs out if you need to. All right, we're 
we're going to go back to our leg curl with a push up if you remember this from earlier. All right, so we're going to lower our right hand to the ground if it's not already there. Shoulders are stacked above your wrists, hips are stacked above your knees. Put all your weight on both hands and your left foot. So your left your left foot is going to be back again. Sorry about that. All your weight's gonna be in your hands and your left foot. Lift your right knee off the ground, move it toward your right elbow, arching your back. Inhale, hold this position. Exhale, return your knee to the ground where it was previously located. Balancing on both hands and your, and your right knee, lift your left leg up like we did before, inhale, Lower your body to the ground by bending your elbows by your waistline or your ribs. Exhale, push your body back up to your starting position, which is our tabletop position with the leg lift extended, with the leg extended behind you. We're gonna repeat this four more times, pairing one breath with each movement. So, breathe in, lift your right knee up toward your elbow, breathe out, lower to the ground. Inhale, lift your leg, bend your elbows. Exhale, push up. Two more times, inhale, bend your knee up toward your elbow, lift it off the ground. Touch your elbow back down to the ground to exhale. Inhale, lift your leg, bend your elbows. And exhale, push up. Last one, breathe in. Right knee off the ground, touching your right elbow. Back down to the ground, exhale, inhale, lift your left leg, bend your elbows to your ribs, exhale, push up to our starting position. All right, go back into our tabletop position. Again, stretch out your body if you need to, go into that child's pose, forgot the position, go into child's pose if you need to. If you're feeling any muscles, tensen up or tighten up. Make sure you're stretching them and being mindful of your body. So after our last push up, we're going to still have our left leg extended, left toes on the ground. We're going to lift our right knee off the ground, bending our foot toward our bottom. Move your knee toward your elbow and then back toward our position on the ground, but not on the ground. We're gonna repeat that again. Lift your right elbow or lift your right knee off the ground toward our elbow, and then return to that position. If you need to, that position being your right shin and knee on the ground. If you need to, just lift your leg, lift your right knee and right shin off the ground, and then lower it back down to the ground. And if you want to, for a little added challenge, lift your right knee off the ground, toward your right elbow, and back down to the ground. We're going to repeat this four more times. All right, so right, right on knee to right elbow, back to the ground. Three more times, right knee up, down, up, down, two more, up, down, up, and down. Great job. From here, we're going to push into a downward dog. So go into high plank, bringing both feet back out behind you and push into a downward dog. You can walk your hands closer to your feet if you really wanna get that stretch for your downward dog. Hips are pulling toward the ceiling. Pedal your feet, knees moving toward the ground, one knee at a time pedaling our feet out. All right. We're gonna go back into a forward fold. So we're gonna walk our hands back to our feet, walk your feet back to your hands, whatever you prefer, we're in forward fold. Bend your knees whenever you get to your standing position, lift your hands off the ground and grab a hold of your elbows. Left hand on your right elbow, right hand on your left elbow, and from here, we're just going to rock side to side. You don't need to move your legs at all. Just move your upper body side to side. Shake your head, yes. 
Shake your head no. Twisting and getting out all those kinks and stretches. Stay here for a few more breaths. Breathing in, breathing out. All right. Now we're gonna go back into our squats. So from here, we're going to stand up straight. Okay, I'm going to face the camera for these exercises. So we're standing up straight, our feet are flat on the ground. Step your feet out wider than the width of your hips. Angle your feet out to the side, not so that both feet are pointing out to each side, but somewhere in between a neutral position facing forward, twisting out to the side. All right, keep your hands at your sides. Remember when we inhale, we're going to shift our weight back. Arms are gonna come above our head. Exhale, hands back at our sides as we stand up. All right, let's get ready for our squats. Remember we'll do eight repetitions of these. From your tailbone to the tips of your fingertips, you want to create a straight line. So just keep that in mind whenever you are in your squats as well. All right, we'll begin in three, two, one. Inhale, shift your weight back, bring your arms forward, and stand up to exhale. Inhale, bring your arms above your head. Exhale, stand up and lower your arms. Inhale, arms above your head, sit back. Exhale, lower your arms, stand up. Let's repeat this five more times on your own. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, exhale, three more times. All right, last one, inhale and exhale. Great work, if you need to, go ahead and shake your legs out. I know that's a hard one and we're Going to go back into our chair pose and chair pulses. So I know that one's a little hard on the legs as well too. So after you shake your legs out for a minute, return to your wide leg stance. We're going to inhale, shift your weight backwards, lift your arms above your head, hold this pose. Remember this is our chair pose. Your gaze is forward, nose is pointing forward. Exhale. Twist your head and torso to the right. Bring your right arm back. And then bring your right arm forward again. Exhale, twist your head and torso to the left. Left arm back. Inhale, bring your hand, left hand to your right hand. Exhale, twist your torso. Right arm back. Inhale, bend your right elbow move forward. All right, exhale, twist your torso, left hand goes back, inhale, left hand comes forward. We're going to do this two more times. First move at your elbow, bend your right elbow back, twist your torso, bend your right elbow, bring it back up to your left hand. Remember we're still in our squat position, if you still feel that heat, that's good. Left hand back, left arm back, twist to the left. Bring your left, bend your left arm forward, match your hands and stand up. You need to shake out your arms, so just shake your arms from side to side. Shake your legs up. You need to kind of march in place. All right, we're gonna go back into our chair, pul chair pose pulses. So once you've completed the chair pose twists, we're gonna hold chair pose and pulse by lowering our body and then raising it. So remember, you're not standing all the way up. You're just lowering slightly and then standing up slightly. So it's not a full stand. It's just a slight standing up. All right. So we're going to repeat our chair pose pulses eight times. Whenever you're ready, I'm going to stand to the side so the camera is facing my side again. Remember, your feet are still out in that wider than hip width distance. 
feet are pointing out to each side. Inhale, bring your arms up to your ears, lower, lower than your chair pose. Inhale, stand up slightly. Exhale, lower. Inhale, slight stand. Exhale, lower. Inhale, slightly stand. Exhale, lower. Inhale, slightly stand. Two more times. Exhale, lower. Inhale, stand. Exhale, lower. Inhale, stand, and then stand up straight. So we're gonna go back into our repeaters, shake out our leg lifts and repeaters. So remember, shake your legs out if you need to. All right, both feet are going to be under our hips, not together, but hip width distance apart. Now you're going to step your right leg out to the sides so that your right toes are pointing into the ground. Bend your elbows, bend both elbows, and touch your hands to your ears, right hand touching right ear, left hand touching left ear. Balancing on your left leg, lift your right leg off the ground to the side as high as you can, then return it to the ground. Repeat this four times, lift and lower, lift and lower. One more, lift and lower. All right, going into our repeaters, pull your right knee toward your nose or toward your chest so that it's parallel, your thigh is parallel with the ground. Twist your nose to the right and then return to your neutral position. Repeat that again. Bring your right leg up, twist to the right and lower. Bring your right leg up, twist to the right and lower back down. If you lose balance, that's okay. Put a slight bend in your left knee for more stability. One more time, knee up, twist to the side, and lower back down to the ground. All right, now we're gonna do two leg lifts. Lift, leg lift, and lower, leg lift, and lower, now two repeaters. Bring your right knee up, twist to the right, and lower. Bring your right knee up, twist to the right, and lower. Now we're gonna go into that sequence, but we're going to do one of each. So again, hands are on your ears, leg lift up and lower, repeater twisting to the side and lower. Leg lift up and lower, repeater, lower. Two more, leg lift, lower, repeater, and lower. Leg lift and lower, repeater and lower. Great job, go ahead and shake out your arms, shake out your legs. All right, now we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna go into some lunges. We're gonna start by getting into a lunge position. So you're going to stand with your feet together. You can have your hands on your hips, hands at your sides, whatever helps you best. Okay. Feet together, take one big step back with your right leg, landing on the toes of your right foot. Keep your hips square so you don't want your hips to be like in a warrior position. You want your hips square and aligned with each other so that they are side by side. Your feet are going to be parallel as well. Take a gentle bend in your legs and your knees until your legs make right angles and hold. Check your posture, make sure your core is tight and your back is straight. Stack your left knee over your ankle. Make sure your knee is not surpassing your toes. If it does, adjust the position of your feet or sit back more in your lunge. All right, so we're going to, in our lunge position, inhale, arms above our head, exhale, stand, swing your arms back. Inhale, swing your arms forward, lunge, exhale, arms back, stand. Inhale, arms forward, lunge, exhale, arms backward, stand. One more time, inhale, swing your arms above your head and lunge, exhale, swing your arms back and stand. 
So we're gonna do some airplanes out of this. So if this feels good for you, keep going as you lunge. Inhale, arms above your head, exhale, lower and bring your, lower your arms and stand up. So this next exercise, if you need to have a chair or if you need to have a wall beside you to balance, you can definitely do that. So if you'd like an added, lunge, added challenge instead of just doing a lunge, you're going to, instead of lunge down, you're going to more lunge forward. Exhale, shift your body weight forward so your nose is facing the ground, balancing on your left leg. Swing your arms forward, kick up your right leg, and create a straight line from your head to the tips of your right toe. Inhale, return to your standing position with your right leg behind you, your left leg and arms oops, above your head. All right, if you want to repeat that, exhale. Oops. Exhale, bend forward, leg, right leg comes up. Exhale, arms come back to your sides. You can either repeat airplanes or lunges. Exhale, if you're doing an airplane, lean forward, nose points to the ground. Swing your arms above your head. And then exhale, bring your arms back to your sides. All right, now, to finish this sequence, we're either going to, we're gonna do a challenge by choice that just holds true with our mission, just challenge by choice, do whatever feels best for you. You can decide what exercise you're going to continue with, either airplane, airplanes or lunges. For our lunge, we're gonna do pulses with these. So for our lunge pulses, we're going to bend our knees, just like we did with our chair pose position. We're going to go down, into, go down into a slight lunge, lunge lower, and then slightly stand. All right. Exhale to lower, inhale to stand. Exhale to lower, inhale to stand. If you wanna do pulses in the airplane position, swing your arms forward, nose pointing toward the ground, move your right leg up and down, up and down. All right, whatever position you are choosing to do, go ahead and get into that, either airplane lunges, airplane pulses, or lunge pulses. So we're gonna do this at an eight count when everybody, whenever everybody is ready. So I'm going to do the lunges for this. All right, get into your lunge position, and we're going to pulse in three, two, one, lower and stand slightly. We'll do this four, five, lower, stand, stand, lower, stand, lower, stand, last one, lower, and stand. All right, great job. Just because we did it on the right side, or we did it on the left side, we're going to switch to the opposite side, work out the other side of our body. So we are going to start with our lunges. Remember to keep your feet side by side, standing upright, and take a big step back with your left foot, landing with your left toes on the ground. You wanna make sure both of your feet are parallel, pointing straight out in front of you. Okay, feet are straight out in front of you. You're in a parallel motion. All right, make sure your right knee is stacked over your right ankle and your right knee does not surpass your toes. If it does, adjust the position of your feet or sink back more into your lunge. All right, lifting our arms above our head, exhale, stand. All right, well, inhale, lower, arms above your head, exhale, stand, swing your arms down. Inhale, lower, arms above your head, exhale, stand, arms at your side. Four, three more times, inhale, lower into your lunge, arms above your head, and stand. So exhale, two more. Inhale, lower, exhale, stand. One more, inhale, lower, arms above your head, exhale, stand, arms at your sides. All right, now we feel the heat in our legs. If you wanna continue doing lunges, you can. Inhale, lower your body, 
arms above your head. Exhale, lower your arms and stand up. If you'd like to go into airplane, I'm going to explain that now. If you choose not to do airplane, that's okay. Stay with your lunges, doing what feels right for you. So to go into our airplane, remember, have a chair beside you, have a wall beside you if you need it. Exhale, shift your body weight forward, swing your arms above your head so that your arms are by your ears, nose pointing toward the ground. Right knee bent slightly, left leg back behind you. Stand by bringing your body to an upright position. Or we're gonna, we go back into our lunge, I'm sorry. All right, swing your arms forward, swing your left leg up, and then back to our beginning lunge position. If you're doing lunges or if you're doing airplanes, do four more of these. So either lunge down and up, or go forward in your airplane and back. Forward and back, two more. All right, and last one before we do pulses. Okay, perfect. Again, it's challenge by choice, so decide what exercise you want to continue with either doing lunges or airplanes for your pulses. For our lunge pulses, remember you're just bending slightly two to three inches up or down, depending on where you were. And then for our lunges, or for the airplane pulses, you're just bringing your leg a few inches up and a few inches below where your neutral position is. All right, we're gonna start with our pulses. So go back down into your lunge position, knees at a right angle, we're gonna pulse for an eight count in three, two, one. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Four more, up, down, up, down, up, and down. Great job, go ahead, stand up. Shake out your legs, get a little wiggle out. time. Okay. And then from here, if you'd like, you can go back through that whole flow again, starting from the half sit-ups to our, um, to our leg lunges and pulses. All right, for now, we're going to go back into the half sit-up. So, sorry, I'm just trying to get my computer back to our setups. So just repeat that sequence again from your sit-ups and then um, all the way back to our, uh, just reading through our list again, go through our, okay, go through the sit-ups, cortis, forward fold, bird dog taps, toe taps, your leg curl with push-ups. Make sure you do those on left and right sides. Squats, chair pose, chair pose pulses. Okay, and then once you finish, we will meet you back here for our cool down. So our first cool down exercise is our bear walks. So we're gonna start on the floor for a cool down on our tabletop position. Shoulders are stacked above our wrists, hips are stacked above your knees. Gently curl your toes under your feet 
and lift your body off the ground into a bear position. So your shins are parallel to the ground. You are balancing on your toes. Once you feel stable, take a step back with your right foot, extending your right leg behind you. Take a step back with your left foot, extending your left leg behind you into high plank. Return your feet to their position one at a time. Right leg forward, left leg forward, right leg back, and left leg back. If you need to, just go back into your tabletop position. So go from tabletop to high plank, tabletop, high plank. Remember using one leg, walking out one leg at a time, knowing what's safe for your body. Let's do one more here. Right leg out, left leg out, right leg in, left leg in. All right, once you finish your bear walks, we are just going to go into a child's pose. So, for child's pose, from our tabletop position, you're just gonna push yourself back, push your bottom to your feet, and walk your hands out forward in front of you. If you need to, spread your knees out a little bit so you can really sink down into this stretch. Take a few deep breaths in and out here. All right, once this feels good, walk your hands about two big walks to the left so you feel a nice stretch in your right side. Take two breaths in and out here. And then when you're ready, walk your hands back to the center. Stretching down, forehead to the ground, facing the ground. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. Walk your hands to the right. Two big steps to the right. Feel that nice stretch in your left side. Take two deep breaths in and out here. And then when you're ready, walk your hands back to your neutral child's pose position. Forearms can touch the ground. Your bottom is close to your feet, feeling that stretch in your hips and in your back. We're going to finish with our seated cat and cow stretches we did at the beginning of our workout. So you can join me by sitting on your bottom. Your feet can either be flat on the ground your feet can be flat on the ground or your heels can be pointed in toward, your heels can be pointed in the ground as well. Your feet are going, your feet and legs are going to be hip width distance apart. So not right beside each other, but a little spread apart. Wrap your hands under your thighs, right where your knees bend. So you have that slight bend in your elbows. Straighten your back, stacking your spine to sit nice and tall. Take a deep breath in, arch your back so that your face is slightly tilted toward the ceiling. Exhale and lean back while you straighten your arms, curving your upper back, dropping your chin to your chest. Repeat this one more time. Inhale, chest to the ceiling, head up to, face up to the ceiling, and exhale. Bring your chin to your chest, straighten your arms, Feel that stretch in your back. Have that upper back curved. All right, if you'd like to do a few more of these, go ahead, do whatever feels best for you. That is the end of our Pilates workout for today. So thank you all so much for joining us and for being here virtually. And we look forward to seeing you at another workout soon.